Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play... Hey, Neo! No. Presents... Whale's Voyage, the CD edition, made in 1993, by Neo Software. For the Amiga, and of course, for the PC. It's a German game. German role-playing game that does not have mouse support. And this is one of the few reasons there's a CD version for a nice CD soundtrack. Years have passed in which we spent, which we spent to save our money to buy our own spaceship. Now let's have a look at what was played up at the Cyber Brick Wars. Ships for sale. Wow, there are really expensive ones, and the bottom one is really cheap. The one we bought. Okay, let's start the whale. That's one ugly ship. It's a really ugly ship. Engage blue drive. Seriously, this is quite a good game. And I will admit, its music is pretty neat. But there's no mouse support. Not at all. That's the glider. We don't get that for a while. Without further ado, let's make our party. And by make, I mean create from birth. You have to make the party from birth. Let's create a character. Let's pick a father. Mm, this guy. Let's pick a mother. That woman. And then the DNA synthesizer activates. That's this girl's DNA, folks. We can fiddle with it after we've given her a name. How about Angel? That'll do. Ooh, good strength, intelligence, speed, skillfulness and health. Now, the mutate ratio allows you to mutate him. Her, for instance, if I wanted to give her mental energy, I could do that. Now she has psychic ability. However, the more I give, look at how high up that DNA is in the middle. That means she's more susceptible to genetic diseases, and genetic diseases are bad. We want none of that. So let's just go as normal. Even in her first years of life, she changed her foster parents like clothes. She never felt the power of an intact family. Poor her. You select a primary school for your person. There are five available to Angel. General Primary School, which increases everything a little. Space Education, beats me without raises. Basic military school, you probably get the idea. Streak of childhood is, a, is usually accessible to almost everyone. The Cybertech Mental School is only useful for people with mental energy. It allows them to gain mental energy. And I don't know what the Naki, the Naki Kamura Gako is for, but I never use it. Let's give her a basic military training, which allows her to pick a high school, battle academy, chemistry university, or the bounty hunter society. Personally, Battle Academy. Look at that strength. That is Angel the Soldier. Let's make another person, shall we? How about this man and this woman? Works another woman. Okay, how about Alexa? Pretty bad stats, actually. How about with this one? This one looks quite good, actually. Because her family carried on a feud with another clan, she grew up with feeling danger and injustice every day. She really learned how to fight against enemies. <coughs> this woman has access to all six schools. Let's try the street kid childhood, shall we? No, it didn't work. We want to get access to the Iranian Battle School. There we go, the Iranian Monastic Society. This makes an Iranian who are all-rounders. Look at those all-rounded stats. In fact, she's incredibly good. Incredibly good. Now, next character. We'll take this cold feet man look alike and combine it with uh, Captain Janeway. Makes a man. How about Saracen? Never mind. Your DNA is pathetic. Oh, she's had more than one kid. And Solendra. God, that's bad. Ugh. What about with you? Excellent. And quite a good one, too. Poor 
couple cared for sacrificing way for the little boy. He never had a luxurious life, but he really knows what safety is. Only you can prevent forest fires. Let's take him through the net. Mental school and the Sci Science Institute to make Saracen the Scioncian. Useful. Lastly, I know he was nowhere near as good as the Uranium, but he gets skills that the Uranium just doesn't get. Let's select a final person, shall we? How about this and this? Select his name, Tyrus. Looks quite good. The middle class family accommodated the little boy after his birth and cared well for him. Take him to the basic military training and to Bounty Hunter Society to make him the Bounty Hunter. Good amount of skills. Now, to remove people, you can use that funny little icon that has an idea that somebody goes into their home and kills them. But we want to enter the game. Hurrah! Now, this is the main menu. We can buy and sell and equip the whale. For whale, we have no money, you'll note. And here are the items available on this planet. The planet being Castra. Once upon a time, Castra had been the most important planet for trading. But nowadays, lots of criminals are using Castra, and especially the capital, Penth, for their illegal deals. 70% oxygen, no seasons, average temperature 20 degrees Celsius, almost fully technologized. And that's the solar system. Never mind, we can beam down, we can use the phone, but let's go to the merchant, because this, this is cool, watch. Let the CD load up. Hello, merchants. Hang on. I'll raise the CD volume slightly so you can hear him. He does say something. However, he's not saying anything. It's really annoying. Never mind. Okay. So here's the merchant. Hello, merchants. Let us see what you can offer. He will buy stuff from us. And at the moment, we have nothing to offer him. Yes, you can trade contraceptives. And brain implants. And video games that look a lot like Whale's Voyage. And blood surrogates. Medical supplies. You'll notice this place is highly technological. Very technological. Look, sound, dece sound receivers. Reactor parts. But none of this is useful to us. We want to save, I think. Uh, save game. Game 1. We will also save the game in game 2. Now, how do we get into the game? Well, I'm glad you asked, Skippy. When we come back, we will actually get into the game. Until then, folks. Until then.